Hello YouTube! So today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks about uh, this great tool called Notepad++. So Notepad++ is an open source text editor for Windows. It has multiple language support. It has also a number of features like uh, installing plugins, comparing files and actually there is a huge list of features. Personally, I use it uh, as my default text editor. I use it for all my web development coding needs. So here are some, tri some uh, tricks to help you to become more efficient at using this great, great uh, web development tool. So let's begin. So I'm going to launch my Notepad++ editor. Notepad. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> As you can see, I opened a uh, sample file just for showing you the the, the tricks. Actually, it's a Cisco config file. So it doesn't matter. Just for uh... okay. So the first tip is called box selection. So actually, with Notepad++, you can. Uh, do what we call a column block all rectangular selection so to do to demonstrate it i'm going to hold the alt key while doing selection as you can see for example here i have selected all the keyword uh, protocol in the line in the lines so, for example, I can select them and delete them if I, if I want. So, it's a very useful feature that you can use in your coding or your text files as you want. Okay, so le let's move to the second tip. The second tip is called Vertical Tab View. Let's suppose you have two files, for example, this one. And I'm going to uh, to copy just for to copy some text for the second text file. So let's say you want to compare the, these two files. So to compare them manually, so I just press the tab key and uh, and click move to other view. So, as you can see, now we have two views that uh, allows you to compare these two files easily and uh, in a custom way. Very useful also for comparing files. Okay, now the third tip. Let's suppose you have some extra spaces in the beginning or at the end of your lines. For example, I will add some spaces here and some spaces here, some spaces here, okay, some spaces here. Okay, in order to view the spaces, you have to click this uh, symbol. As you can see, the dots represent uh, the, the spaces. So if you want to get off this uh, spaces, extra spaces, in the beginning, at the beginning, at, at the end of the lines, you go to the edit menu, blank operations, and uh, you click trim, leading, and trailing spaces. As you can see, the spaces have gone. So it's a very useful tip for removing unnecessary spaces. Okay, another tip for aligning lines. Let's say you have uh, your lines not aligned. So, for example, this line is here, this line is here, this one is here, if you want, no. This one, let's align it right, okay. Let's say you want to align all these lines left, so you select them, and you press your Shift plus the tab key. 
okay so you press you press you press till your line get aligned so it's a very useful tip also for aligning lines to the left okay another tip is what we call a clipboard history actually uh, the clipboard history shows us the, all the text copied recently let's say you copied a lot of text for example I copy this one this keyword I copy this number I copy this keyboard uh, this keyword so if I go to the menu edit clipboard history here you can see all the keywords or the text you have copied recently so if you want to pass one of the, the text all you have to do is to, to, to double click and voila the text get passed so it's very easy very useful for pasting text you have recently copied okay another trick let's say you want to search for a keyword for example uh, sip what is SIP? I want to Google it, so no need to open your browser. All you have to do is to highlight the keywords and go to the menu Run and Google Search. So, Notepad will launch the browser and give you a result of the search in Google about the keywords you have selected. It's a very useful uh, trick also. okay the last tip let's say you are searching for a keyword in uh, in a directory in some files in, in a directory for example I'm looking for this keyword fix up in a directory so all I have to do is to go to the search find in files okay I'm looking for this keyword in the directory called for example Cisco already selected found all and here he will display all the files in this directory that will contains the file uh, the keyword so it's a very useful uh, tip actually it's operating system common tool so if you are looking for a uh, text or some keywords in a text file you can use this feature so I hope it's been informative for you and I uh, will to thank you for viewing and hope to see you in another video bye bye